Hey, this is Kevin Comer, and uh, welcome to episode one of my LP. I decided to uh, come up to the top of this hill here to get a good look at the startings of my base. Uh, I decided uh, in this let's play that I wasn't going to start with the whole uh, getting established thing, and I was going to do some work ahead of time to really uh, make sure that I could start off interesting, start off with a bang. And I'm trying to get a good view of this first building I built, so I'm going to actually turn off the clouds. And there you go. So, uh, some of you might recognize this building. Um, this is actually a one-to-one -one replica of St. Mark's Campanile in Venice, so it's like a, a bell tower. and. Uh, I'm going to be trying to actually do some of this type of thing in in this series, uh, build you know recognizable structures like this. Um, so with that in mind, uh, actually right away in this episode, I'm going to get started on uh, my first uh, big redstone project that's actually also going to in incorporate um, some architecture from my hometown. So. I'm going to go over to the site where I'm going to be building that, and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I'm on the other side of this mountain from my my bell tower there, and uh, I've laid out some markers here to start the uh, next project. What I need first is a circular foundation uh, that's um, 37 blocks in diameter, so I've marked out uh, the edges there, I'm using an online calculator to uh, figure out a circle for me. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to lay out just a ring of these stone bricks. And then I'll be able to dig down uh, into the foundation and hide all my redstone down there. And, uh, and build the building up into the sky. Um, I'll let you know after... I get this foundation laid out what exactly this project's going to be. So let me get to work on that. Okay, well, I got the circle uh, kind of outlined there by cutting into the ground. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start laying out some foundation walls. So this circle is uh, the size of the base of the Calgary Tower, which might not mean a lot to most people, but uh, it's a pretty famous landmark in my hometown, and I'm going to replicate it here in my world. Um, and I'm not just going to build a tower. Uh, my plan is to put uh, some pretty complex redstone into it. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is turn the entire tower into one giant chicken farm. So, uh, it's, I actually spent a lot of time planning this out, uh, you know, for this, for this LP, I wanted to start off with something really cool, and, uh, this chicken farm, I think, is going to be pretty neat, it's going to be way over the top, like, uh, way beyond what I need to provide me with food, but that's okay, because I really don't want to have to think about food, uh, I want to just, um, you know, be able to pick it up whenever I need some, some cooked chicken, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, have, I've actually spent a lot of time in creative, creating a lot of the redstone mechanisms to make this farm work, and so, uh, well, you'll see them when I start building them, but, um, yeah, so maybe I'll just talk a little bit about, uh, this world then. So it, it is It is actually on a server. I'm playing on with some of my friends. Um, we're all kind of playing individually. And uh, yeah, they've got their own places. We've, we've kind of hooked ourselves together through the nether, but the tunnels are just a mess right now. Um, you know, there's varying degrees of expertise. Uh, a couple of beginners. Um, but yeah, we're just we're just playing to have a good time, but might see some other people around from time to time. You might see some people try to log in. Somehow, uh, 
the IP for this server. I don't know why, maybe it's like recycled, but um, there seems to be some people that are consistently trying to log on to it, so I don't really know what's up with that, but yeah. So yeah, I, I'm gonna spend some time, uh, you know, starting to dig out the middle. I need quite a bit of space for what I have planned. Um, I probably need to go down about 10 blocks, uh, you know, make a big pit. I'll lay out all the redstone in there, and it's gonna go way, way up. Uh, you know, I recommend maybe doing a Google image search for the Calgary Tower. I'll spell it out. That's, uh, oh yeah, you can see Ace Tyler tried to log on. I wouldn't let him on because he's not on the whitelist. But if you want to do a Google image search for that tower, that's what I'm going to be working on. And I build everything um, as close to, like, one-to-one -one real life as I can. So this tower is going up, I think, like, 191 meters. Um, and I have some resources that I use for making sure I'm very accurate. Whoops. Fill the water here. Uh, with my with my construction, so I plan to build other landmarks. Uh, yeah, that Campanile is one to one recreation. You can do a Google image search for that, and I'll share some of my techniques as we go along. But yeah, right now I'm going to uh, keep working on getting some land cleared out and uh, try to start in on some more interesting construction. So I'll get back to you. Okay, well I got it cleared out to uh well this level it took longer than i expected it's a pretty big area uh but you know i ran out of materials had to make a chest to hold the stuff i was digging out um and yeah so in order to continue i'm gonna have to go back over to where i'm storing all my stuff and get some more materials uh this is oops this is what i dug out of that hole so far so yeah, pretty significant. Um, yeah, so since it's getting night, I guess I'll just head over there now. And uh, this will probably be a fairly good opportunity to show you uh, what kind of stuff I've been doing up till now in this world. I'll just kind of climb over the hills here. Uh, at some point I'm going to need, I guess, a tunnel through this mountain or some kind of underground passage, but for now this will do. So, yeah, I mean, I built uh, the Campanile here. Uh, took a lot of time to get the clay for all that brick. Um, got a lot of sandstone in it too. The inside's not complete yet. I'll show you what I got in there. Uh, and there is a purpose planned for this, but um, you know, I haven't gotten around to uh, finishing the inside yet and I think we'll leave that for the future uh, when I actually need need it for uh, what I built it for um, so oh, oh yeah as you can see we've got some mycelium we have found a mushroom biome um, we have a tunnel in the nether that takes us there there are just three uh, cows that survived on that island well maybe four now I think we bred one of them but it's pretty far away, we'll have to probably bring some over at some point, but yeah. So I've kept that here for safekeeping, spread it out a little bit. Uh, I got some, some wheat uh, to supply me with some food for now. Um, I've got a little bit interior work done, got some dirt covering up the doors, but yeah, I've just been building some staircases that will uh, take us up uh, just above this level here now that I'm past. Well, I've gotten it up past this entryway. Um, I'm going to start building floors, and those floors will have a purpose sometime. But as I said, that's going to be a little secret for now. Uh, what this also is, though, is the entrance to my mine shaft. And I've spent a lot of time down there getting a lot of resources. I have uh, just a water break down here. So I got my enchanting table. Um, Got some other things, got uh, a couple of anvils, been using those. Done a lot of branch mining. Uh, nothing down there yet, but yeah, I've spent a lot of time down in this direction mining. Just, you know, standard stuff. Uh, 
and then over in this direction actually we've built mostly myself uh, built a zombie grinder with a spawner here so um, if I just kind of break through here oh perfect right underneath it you can see we've got uh, yeah one one zombie spawner there um, just a standard thing water streams push them up Ooh, getting a little lag there but push them up uh, they drop down here just able to kill them here and got this fence post here so that they can't get out of there and yeah just standard grinder gotten some pretty good enchanted stuff with that uh, recently I've been working on enchanting some books which I've stored in here uh, I got some decent stuff been putting level 21 enchants on here but what I really need is uh, a silk touch book because uh, for the chicken farm project I'm going to need some silk touch shears for what I have planned so we'll just head on up the ladder and over to where I'm storing everything I'll pick up some goods there uh, yeah so the, like I said there's some other people just friends of mine on the server um, built bases in various spots <laughs> uh, one guy is I think in that direction he went pretty far away about 10,000 blocks in the uh, real world it's like it's like a thousand block trip in the nether and uh, yeah, he's built like a giant mob grinder in the sky and some other neat stuff another friend of mine is over closer to spawn and he's digging a giant pit in the ground so you know we're all doing our own thing but here's my I've been calling this my construction office so just where I'm storing things until I get a more permanent place so yeah it's just some organized chests uh, I guess the important ones would be well I got a lot of a lot of redstone to work with um, I'm going to need an awful lot of glass for this project like this uh, I think I have some other glass maybe well, I got some somewhere but this is likely nowhere near enough uh, yeah, I'm, I got I, my food situation is okay for now but I'm um, gonna need to work on that farm get that going uh, just some random stuff that I collected from before uh, when zombies used to just randomly drop you know full durability tools uh, here's an important one well th these are the tools I'm using nice pick uh, really nice axe and it's an okay shovel but uh, got some other really really nice stuff that one's pretty decent that one I'm, I've uh, been using a lot I, I silk touch my ores when I go mining and or like you know diamonds and stuff bring it up use that on them uh, I got yeah some just some nice stuff oh yeah that's a good one oh yeah to the same um, almost like the shovel I'm using I don't have an efficiency for shovel I got some pretty decent enchanted diamond stuff oh yeah this is a beautiful sword and uh, just iron armor but I, li I really like these boots um, let's see what else oh yeah this is a good chest so yeah I'm, I'm doing I'm I'm pretty well off on the resources um, just my wall of furnaces we have a few ender chests at other people's bases whenever I go out on a trip to um, <laughs> the guy really far away I just uh, dump all my stuff in an ender chest before I come back and just kill myself because it's it's really really far so I got a big good supply of eggs for the farm to get it started once I get get that going uh, just some coal and yeah mostly just construction materials over here um, yeah so there's my portal and over here you probably heard them just got a few animals going uh, got some cows haven't really been doing too well on on breeding those just a pain in 
pain in the butt. That's why I'm gonna go with the chicken farm. It's gonna be, you know, really super automated. Um, yeah, it, it's gonna be really cool. I hope I hope anybody who's gotten this far in the video sticks around and watches uh, the next few to see how that turns out. Cause it's gonna be, I, I think it's gonna be really really cool. Like, like you know, one button operation to get you, uh, you know, exact quantities of cooked meat and that sort of thing. Like, uh, I think it's gonna be great. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna load up on some materials and I'll show you some other things here before we get back to the project. Before I get back over to the project, I actually just decided I was going to come out to uh, my desert village here and check on my villagers because I'm going to need one of them as an, integr an integral part of uh, the farm. Um, you'll, you'll see where he comes in later, but yeah, so I had a village here. <laughs> um, needed needed the resources from their houses and that so um, I just took it down and gave them this dirt camp it's um it's safe from spawns whoops <laughs> completely enclosed so yeah they can't get out nothing can get in uh, got a lip here so I can't even get accosted by spiders in here but um, yeah it's it's safe, they're secure. Uh, <laughs> I got quite a few of them. I, I don't know if they're still breeding, but like there's still a bunch of young ones there, and I thought that it was fully populated. You can just see a little bit of the remnants of the village here, but yeah. So they're doing alright. I'm going to have to come up with a way to transport one of them. Uh, it's about, um, I guess... 300 blocks that way where my place is so I'm gonna have to I don't, I don't know maybe through an underground tunnel or something I don't really have a lot of rail to use to bring one over but yeah we gotta get maybe a couple over to uh over to the base and yeah like I said one of them's gonna be really important in uh in this farm so I'm gonna head on back over there and I'll see you back at the construction site Okay, so I've done some more work uh, here. I've gotten glass around the edge up to the height that's going to be for kind of the lobby area at the base of the tower. I've uh, I've laid out the stone brick for the foundation. I'm not 100% sold on the material. I'll probably do something else decorative with it later, but right now it's about getting this farm going. So. Uh, yeah, I've done some layout stuff. Um, this stone here is uh, the material I'm going to use for the concrete, um, I guess. Well, look at the concrete of the tower. Uh, so at the base here, it's uh, 19 meters across. Um, and then it tapers just before it reaches the, the top of the tower. It tapers down to this uh, 9 meter across so I'm just laying that out so I can see how I'm gonna lay or how where I'm gonna put everything in the end so I'm going to start figuring that out and then uh, yeah once I get a couple more layout things done I'll start explaining how this farm is going to work in the end well I've done a little bit more figuring things out and I can kind of explain now how this whole thing's gonna work. So here, this raised uh, grass dirt ring, I said is going to be um, the size of the tower when it goes into the upper part of the, well, I'm not doing a very good job explaining what the shape of the tower is like, but I'm sure uh, it'll all become clear once it's built, but uh, on to the function. So. Uh, first thing you'll do when you come into this building, once it's done, there'll be a chute, uh, like maybe, maybe like an ice, um, and water chute for eggs. Uh, the eggs will be dropping from chickens way, way up at the top of the tower. Uh, this is so that I'm pretty much never going to be near them to get all that, uh, chicken sound. So, you know, I can have, I don't know. 
couple hundred chickens up there um, and you know even if uh, I'm all the way down here they'll still lay eggs and they'll drop all the way down and the eggs will be dropping down uh, this this chute in the back will go all the way up to where the chickens are they'll just be you know compressed in a little area and all their eggs will come down um, and be transported around to you know somewhere over here where I'll, where I'll be able to pick them up so I'll pick up the eggs and then I'll come over to the dispenser. I'll just, you know, shift clip, click them all into the dispenser, fill it up. Um, and then once, you know, once I put all the eggs in, then somewhere here, hit a button, right? So you hit the button and it starts clock. That's going to start shooting all the eggs out of this dispenser at a very fast pace. So those eggs will come into a water chute here. Uh, that's going to, I, I figured this all out already, uh, it's going to start shooting out the eggs, they'll hatch into the baby chickens, and those will be funneled kind of down downward in a spiral pattern, right, uh, that will kind of spread them out in a line. You'll, you're going to have to use your imagination on this one. Uh, I can see it all in my head, I swear. They'll spread them out in a line so that they'll uh, be kind of separated when they fall down through a tripwire. So that tripwire is, you know, will be down, uh, maybe down here somewhere. Anyways, once they fall through that, every time uh, the chicken, one chicken, one baby chicken falls through the tripwire, it's going to increment a uh, binary counter. So that binary counter will be set up somewhere down below here. Um, to count up to 128. So we'll get 128 uh, chickens out of this per batch, I guess. So uh, when, when that count reaches 128, um, it will disable the ability to shoot more eggs out of here. At the same time, it's going to start a 20 minute timer that I've also designed that will uh, will kind of count down till the last chicken hatched uh, is matured and ready to be killed. So we're going to have at least 128 food per harvest, um, but you know possibly more since you can get four chickens per egg on occasion. So yeah, after, after those chickens go through the tripwire down in the floor, they'll keep going down through a water chute and they'll end up in in this one going up into the sky so uh, that's actually what I need the villager for he'll kind of be a permanent fixture in here uh, all the chickens will <clears throat> excuse me will end up in this one wide shoot with him with ladders going up and when you kind of cram more than one type of mob into a, a one wide area like that with ladders they'll jostle against each other and climb so that's how I'm going to get them to the top of the tower uh, so to wait to mature. So every chicken uh, that's hatched will be kind of pushed by the villager up to the top. And uh, yeah, once that 20 minute timer is done ticking down, another button somewhere over here. Uh, hit that. It'll send a redstone signal up one of these last two shoots. Uh, you know, so yeah, eggs come down here, chickens go up here, one of these for just a simple, um, you know, redstone stone torch tower going up into the sky, and uh, yeah, it'll shoot a lava, kill them all, get cooked chicken and all the loot coming down, and the whole system will get reset, it'll be really automated, really nice, the only interaction I'll have with the whole thing is this dispenser and two buttons and two item shoots. So yeah, that's that's the plans I have. I know it will work. I've got it all worked out in creative. And yeah, I'm probably going to get started on the chicken shoot now. Well, I've started work on the, uh, the water streams that will kind of separate the chickens out into a line so that they can be properly counted. Um, so I can show you how that works. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be the last thing I'm going to be able to get to in this episode because I'm running a little bit low on time. But yeah, I'll show you that. Okay, so there will be a water source here in this corner uh, which will 
flow diagonally. There will be a sign here to stop that water. So, so we'll have a diagonal flow uh, that will push the newly hatched chickens kind of against this wall here. Uh, so they'll flow down. Uh, there'll be a stone brick stair here, which I have uh, just gone at the moment, so I can actually show you this. So um, that'll kind of force them down this um, this water chute. Here we have another diagonal water stream, and uh, down here in that corner there, there will be another one. So. All these water streams are forcing the chickens towards this glass uh, in the middle. Now these fences and the st well the stairs force them uh, downward because you know they have a quite a small hitbox. Uh, additionally, these fences um, create a gap that's only wide enough for one chicken to fit through at once. So yeah. Um, there's a stair or a fence here too. There's glass in the middle so that the fence doesn't connect to the the middle. So yeah, the the water forces all the chickens uh, towards the center, and they all get spread out. And then on the outside here, you can see they'll just fit through this gap and fall down there. There's a trip wire. There will be a trip wire uh, right here, and that that'll be attached to the counter. So. Uh, I've gotten a good start here on the tower and the chicken farm, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I I hope uh, people have found this episode interesting, and I guarantee we'll get to some some really cool redstone in the next one. So thank you again. <laughs>